This is the Election Bureau. Hello and welcome to City Newsroom on City TV. My name is Umaru Sanda Amadou. Ghana mourns as its longest serving head of state, Jerry John Rawlings, dies at age 73. Also, coming up tonight on the City Newsroom, President Zakufado directs all flags across the country to fly as half marks in honor. Of former President Jerry John Wallace he has also declared seven days of national mourning. He's not an ordinary Ghanaian. He was the first president of our fourth republic, and therefore his passage has to be a matter for the Ghanaian nation. Also coming up, family of the late former President Jerry John Rawlings set to release a statement about what led to his demise. Former President John Dramani Mahama suspends campaign activities in the Ashanti region following the demise of former President Jerry John Rawlings. The committee has agreed that we announce a brief suspension of the Ashanti campaign tour. Scores of supporters and sympathizers of the NDC who thronged the party's headquarters eulogized the late former president Jerry John Rawlings, describing him as a man of the people. He is somebody who speaks his mind. You can't take that away from him. He speaks his mind. Whether the, the, the matter will affect his party or not, he will speak his mind. And later, as Ghana mourns the death of its longest serving president, we we'll look at his life and legacy. And later, we take you to his home region, the Volta region, as they mourn the death of the native of the land. <laughs> On the City Newsroom today, we begin with the shocking breaking news. Former President of the Republic, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings has died at age 73. The nation has been thrown into shock, into mourning it is. And here at his residence, party supporters, members of the NDC which he founded, security men and journalists have converged. It is at the Ridge Roundabout area. Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings was a man very loved by so many, known by so many, adored and had the appropriate size of charisma that a politician needs. And that is evident in the crowd that is trooping in here.
It's shocking. It's shocking. Unbelievable. We can't control ourselves. So we cannot contain it. We only pray to the Almighty to strengthen us. For us to accept it wholeheartedly. The Lord gave and he has taken. If only it is true. Some of us are believing it is not true. We hope they will tell us that it is a dream. Let it be a dream. That is our prayers. Otherwise, he is a big tree, an oak tree, that we've all been resting. Today, the tree is uprooted. Who should? Who will shelter us? Who will shelter us again? Who, who, who will shelter us again? Oh, Jerry, you killed yourself for Ghana. You killed yourself for Ghana. This wouldn't have been your end, though, but God knows best. Um. With, uh, you, know, you know him. Have you have you been close to him before? Yes. Yes. What's your name? I'm speechless. Hello. Um, so, um, Hello. That, that is um, uh, well, someone who is just driving past and uh, having to uh, stop uh, to say that well, she is mourning. There is um, a motorcade that is approaching. I do not know if it's related. One where it seems it is not related. Actually, it is related. It's a motorcade that is entering the house of the uh, former president. We do not know who this would be, uh, but um, indications suggest that this would be high officials of the National Democratic uh, Congress uh, who are arriving here. But the gates, of course, again, have been closed uh, by the uh, security people here. The security will be having a tough time here trying to uh, prevent uh, people from coming in. And uh, I can see a military a bus conveying military personnel arriving here. I do not know, uh, of course, this perhaps is supposed to reinforce uh, security here. Uh, it's a bus that has both uh, police and military people. Meanwhile, in the compound itself, there are several military people. More vehicles uh, from the security side are arriving. I, I do not know if these are also going into the house. Uh, it seems these are also coming into the house. Uh, more security deployment uh, to the house as they try to uh, maintain order uh, here. Let me speak to a former uh, deputy minister uh, in the NDC administration, uh, also uh, served as a member of parliament, Honorable um, Rikit uh, Hagan. Um, you, you're one of the topmost politicians we are seeing here today. As a, as a young politician, what did Rawlings mean to you? He, he, you know, he stood for discipline, he was against corruption, and, and you know, he wanted an equitable society and all that, which he preached throughout uh, his, his, his life. Uh, when I came into politics and came into government, became a member of parliament, uh, that's when I started having a close relationship with him. In fact, he's a father figure, you know, to all of us, especially to the NDC party, you know, which he founded. But I had opportunity to have a very personal relationship with him since I became a member of parliament and a minister. Are you related to him as family or this was purely work relations? Family. Family, because uh, of Lagoji, you? yes. He's, he's, he, he could be my, uh, my nephew or a cousin, but you know, we, we are the Blagoji family. What have you heard, and our condolences to you, what have you heard so far? Well, we know, uh, like everyone knows, he's passed and... Uh, um, <laughs> well, busy, you know, because of the mothers, you know, and uh, it really took a lot of us, uh, our energy and all that. And uh, he likes perfection, so... And as a protocol member of the committee, uh, we have to make sure a lot of things were put into place. Have you been told what the cause is? Well, um, like we all saw on the, in the news, COVID-related, you know, he, you know he, he's been tired. You know, he, he, it was a lot of pressure that we all went through, mm -hmm. a lot of us. Family members of the little Rollins door are locked up in that house uh, where we are told there's a meeting happening. No communication has been given to us 
by any member of the rolling seats as yet. Now, lots of senior members of the NDC have been coming in, and so are members of the NPP and even members of the government, because he is a statesman. Indeed, the man who represents the NPP in this constituency, the parliamentary candidate, uh, has also just come here. Did you have to suspend your, your campaign uh, to come in here? How did you hear this new news? Yes, I we just left the CMB market campaigning there. And then uh, we also went to Adabraka Central Market, Central Mosque area, where we are having a health screening and national health renewal. And then somebody whispered in my ears that JJ is gone. And so when we came out of the house, I, I told my team that we cannot continue with the campaign again. Uh, we need to get closer to the Rawlings family and express our condolences and our sadness at the turn of events. We are very disappointed by the turn of events. And we came here to show our respect to a great statesman, a man whose life and personality and ideas has informed our fourth republic. So that's Prince Deborah, uh, the NPP parliamentary candidate for Kuali Klote constituency. You worked with Rawlings? Yes, I did. As a what? First, I worked under him as a district coordinator and organizing assistant for PDCs and WDCs and then CDRs. Then later on, I became a member of parliament for New York and North. In fact, I was the first MP for New York and North. Do you remember the first time you met Rawlings, what the circumstances were? Well, the first time I met him was when I met him at the state house. There was a conference of you know, PDCs and WDCs and he came to address, you know, us at the state house. That was way back in the 80s. Mm. That was the first time. Mm. That subsequently, when I became a member of parliament, we started having serious series of meetings with him. And you served as his minister? And then later on, I served as a deputy minister. He appointed me as a deputy minister for health. Okay. And later on, he made me the minister, substance minister for health. Okay. And the Ashanti regional minister. What did Rawlings mean to you as a young person at the time in politics? For me, Rawlings was an institution for me. He stood for so many things. He showed leadership, he showed integrity, and he showed compassion. That every leader must make sure, that apart from the fact that you are motivating and inspiring people to achieve set goals and targets, you must show compassion. The greatest achievement of Jerry John Rollins as a revolutionary is the promise of uh, power to the people, which is Kukumuti power. Okay. He has given it. He has led all the group and they have given it. He has guided it. He has not twisted it or changed it to a third term like the Africans are doing mm. when they are going to war. Mm. So whatever it is, whatever wrongs or good or whatever you can just say my judge, the greatest achievement what is would, the, the constitution. What would Rawlings' absence mean to the progress of this country? Would it affect uh, our progress? He is a any? living legend and what he has left is the constitution. Therefore, when we continue defending the constitution, and then if we need to amend, we use the proper means through referendum, referenda, to amend mm. as we move on, mm. then we'll be living a greater, we'll be protecting his legacy and the legacy of those people who died, including the Supreme Military Council people who were also shot. Okay. It's also their legacy. Okay. Thank people you. have died for it, and then we must protect it. Thank you for Thank speaking you. to us. That's Alfred Agbeshi Woyeme, who has come here also to mourn with the Rawlingses. Uh, let's speak to a few more members of the NDC. Uh, Jifa Akwativo worked as Deputy Minister for Transportation in the last NDC administration uh, from the Volta region, the home region of Jerry John Rawlings. It never dawned on us that you even, I don't know. You know, last year when my husband died, and I came to inform Papa Jay. I came with my children and some family members to inform him. So he asked me how old was my husband, and I said, oh, 73. Papa Jay said, hey, anytime somebody dies and the person is close to his age, he gets worried. <laughs> then he burst into laughter. He said something in Avery, then he laughed. And he said, oh, when people above 80, 80 something are gone. So we all just laugh not knowing it's going to happen the way he was worried to die at this age. I mean, so all that we say is that it is the will of God. Mm -hmm. It is the will of God. What we does... will miss him mm -hmm. because 
or the good, the bad, and the ugly, we will miss him. We will miss him. We will miss him. We will miss him. So that's uh, Auntie Jifa Akua Ativo. Akua Ativo. She's a former minister for transport. This is City News Room on City TV. And a very sad day indeed as Ghana mourns the death of uh, his longest serving president, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlins. Sanda, you are at his residence today, and a very sad sight seeing people, you know, wailing and weeping over his death. Indeed. Um, I mean, Rawlins' house is a place you go for news, but not this type of news. Yeah. You know, I remember going into those gates every now and then, chasing stories, trying to. Uh, when he's meeting people and all of those things, when he would drop his boom speeches every now and then. But today, all that was not happening. Uh, Rollins was not there. And there's a lady I interviewed in there who was crying and saying, where's Rollins today? Where's Rollins today? The sense you get is that he's a friendly guy who is in the neighborhood. Everybody, I mean, the elderly people who come to his house are always, you know, fitted, giving money. There's a woman who said she needed money to go to hospital. He would always do that. But things, things changed today. It was a rather somber mood. And a lot of the people who were there were actually people who were in disbelief. Uh, they were not sure. Is it really true that Jerry yeah. is dead? Yeah. This is a, perhaps a Ghana's biggest strong man. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's gone. I mean, there were even people who were granting interviews and saying, I don't believe it is true, but we're considering all the people who are here, it definitely has to be true. So it really was a sad atmosphere, Vivian. Mm. And uh, the president himself has also um, sent a statement on the effect uh, about the death of the former president. He's also announced two key directives. One, uh, the fact that there will be um, some one-week morning, um, national morning, from tomorrow, Friday, uh, and the next week, Friday, as well. And also, um, the flags will fly at half mast mm. as well, mm -hmm. and all that. But let's take you to um, Kolebu teaching hospital where the former president died and um, a man on the beat from that place is Kojo Ajiman. Kojo. This is the National Cardiothoracic Center of the Kolebu teaching hospital. This is the facility former President Rawlins spent the last three days of his life before departing to his maker. He was brought in from his rich residence to this facility for an ailment that doctors have not disclosed to us. He spent two days here but was transferred to the intensive care unit of the medical department of this hospital. This is the medical department. We understand or our sources um, are telling us that the former president passed on in the early hours of Thursday um, at this facility. Let me talk to um, people or persons who also brought uh, their family members and ask them if they've heard about this unfortunate incident. Sir, welcome to the city newsroom. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he was at the facility your mother was. Um, um, how are you feeling now? I mean, how did you get the news apart from your brother texting you and you being at the venue, the same place that um, the former president passed on? Yeah, I feel so sad because he's, he's, the, he's, he, he's the first president who brought us to democracy. Mohammed uh, telling us um, how he heard the news of the demise of the former president, Rollins. Um, he also brought his mother to the intensive care unit um, um, for dialysis um, treatment. But then um, he had the news at the same facility um, the former president um, passed on. I've been combing the department to get further and better particulars about um, the medical condition. I'm not getting, but family sources say they will be putting up a statement um, in the course of the day to tell us what actually transpired, what actually went on at the ICU. My name is Kojo Atman reporting for City News. So from the Kolebu Teaching Hospital where he died this morning, we are told he died at exactly at 10 minutes past 10 a.m. this morning. Let's move to the presidency. Now, President Okofuado has been uh, meeting with the family of um, Flight Governor Jerry John Rawlins. They earlier um, broke the sad news to him. He's spoken about a number of things government would do uh, relating to his death. Let's go to the presidency. The delegation led by Kenon retired Joshua Abuchi was at the Jubilee House to officially inform President Okufado of the passing of former President Jerry John Rawlings. 
spokesperson for their family, Johnny Blagoji, told President Okufado that the family heard of his passing on Thursday morning after a short illness. The former president, Jerry John Rawlings, fell sick and was hospitalized. A lot of efforts were made. I know the president was in touch with his brother. Little did we know that former president would leave us. So we've come here formally to inform the president and the entire government that this is what has happened. It is true. Gary John Rollins is no more. And uh, uh, we deem it appropriate to, to come and inform you officially. President Okufado says the country is devastated following the passing of Mr. Rollins. He says he will greatly remember a man he called a friend. I was given this information this morning when I arrived at the office. And um, I find it hard up to now to really incorporate, assimilate the information. There's a man of great vitality. dynamism and energy. It's very difficult to conceive of him as a dead body lying in a morgue. Or... But then, I think one of the things that all of us have got to use, have got to get used to, is that the Almighty has its own plans for each one of us. And improbable as some things may be, nevertheless they happen. It's a moment for reflection and for continuing to believe in his purpose, that he has a purpose for each one of us. And as it appears, former president's work here on earth has come to an end. The president had earlier in the day issued a statement directing that the country's flags fly at half mast in honor of the late president. He also declared seven days of national mourning. Now, we do know that the major political parties have suspended campaigning following the death of ex-president Jerry John Rawlins. Now, we'll move to his camp proper, that's the NDC, and go to the flag bearer of the party who is currently in the Ashanti region. He, indeed, earlier in the day, suspended his campaign as well and also announced to the people that the president had passed. We'll go to our correspondent there uh, on this particular story, Ni Ayikwe Okai, for more Ni. The National Democratic Congress, NDC, started a campaign tour of the Ashanti region on Tuesday, November 10, 2020, with the aim of propagating its key policies in the manifesto for the December polls. The leader of the party, John Mahama, visited communities such as Abesua, Tepa, Mankraso, Swami Magzin, and also paid a ketsi call on the Ashanti Hine Otunfu Asaichi II. In his address, John Mahama re-echoed the creation of decent jobs for the youth, the provision of free primary health care, and the review of small-scale mining activities when elected in the upcoming polls. Although the campaign was to take place within six days, it has been suspended by John Mahama following the sudden demise of former president and NDC founder Jerry John Rawlings. While addressing the people of Adansemai in the Obwasu West constituency, John Mahama said, the campaign cannot continue due to the unfortunate incident. We just received some very sad news. It makes it impossible for us to continue this campaign tour of Ashanti. So I've spoken to our chairman of the National Campaign Committee, and the committee has agreed that we announce a brief suspension of the Ashanti campaign tour 
and the national campaign team will announce a date for resumption of the tour. Following the suspension, the entourage headed back to each residence where some party supporters had gathered in a sober mood. Some key party functionaries spoke to City News about the demise of Jerry John Rawlings. It's a big loss to the world, Africa, Ghana, and a very, very big loss to the National Party. What we know is that um, Rawlings' death is going to urge us to work hard and to win this election. And, uh, a very big one and fair one. So whatever it is, we shall still be strong and we shall still work hard. It's going to affect the party, but God knows the best. Because when somebody dies, we can say that because of the day we have to still campaign. It's going to affect that. But we know God works in the mysterious way. Everything that comes, we have to give thanks and glory to the Almighty God. So that's what we are going to do. You're still watching the City Newsroom. My name is Vivian Kai. Look, I'm here with Omaru Sanda Amadu. When we come back, we take you to the Volta region, its home region of the late President Jerry John Rawlins, to gauge the mood over there. World Solutions, forging the frameworks of Ghanaian industry, engineering solutions from the heart of Takrade Kejebil. At Rigworld Solutions, we manufacture industrial bolts and nuts, fasteners, hoses and fittings for the extractive and petrochemical industries, world-class products with local expertise. Locate our factory in Kejebil, of the Takradi Takwa Road. Call 0302-949917 or 0540-107504. Email enquiries at rigworldsolutions.com. Rigworld Solutions, crafted in Ghana, engineered for the world. I give my family confidence with Pepsodent Triple Protection 123. It's three toothpaste in one to give them cavity protection, white teeth, and fresh breath. Pepsodent Triple Protection 123. Hi, my name is Salamatu. Yes, these are both me. You see, before free SHS, my life could have taken two very different paths. The SHS path depended on how much money my parents had, what sacrifices they were willing to make, and whether they would send me or my little brother Isa to SHS. The other part is what would have become of me if there was no free SHS. But today, thanks to free SHS, my future is bright and promising. Congratulations, you have a name. It's a boy. Instead of depending on others, I will stand on my own feet and help my family. Free SHS is where my dreams for a better future and the dreams of thousands of young girls become a reality. Don't let NBC take it away from us. Vote for NPP and give all Ghanaian girls a chance for a better future. You've come a long way from where you started and in that time you've upgraded a lot. But have you upgraded your entertainment? When you upgrade to Go TV Max, everyone gets an upgrade. Football fans can up their game with La Liga and get all new action with the NBA and NFL on a brand new channel, ESPN. 
The kids will go crazy for the most popular kids' shows. And Family Night is sorted with blockbuster movies on TNT. Plus, our local celebrities will keep you connected to your continent, while our general entertainment channels will take you international. There's a whole lot for the whole family when you upgrade to GoTV Max. So make the move today and give your family an upgrade they'll love. GoTV. Live it. Love it. Uh, it's indeed a sad day. Uh, for many people, this is a man they've known as a president when they were growing up. And I'm sure we all have our memories of Jerry John Rawlings. I would, I would definitely tell you mine before we leave. Uh, but when the news broke today, uh, when the information came through and we we're trying to do our checks, when we eventually confirmed and I was on my way to the residence, I decided why not make a quick stop at their headquarters, which yeah. is just here. Yeah. And when I entered there, there was supposed to be a, 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 a rally of a sort. Or a, you know, they had a program planned. Mm. So many of the people didn't know. This is when the information was trickling in. So I, I drove into the party headquarters. I went to see, the first person I saw is former Adenta Ebikoju Edouasari. So he was sitting with some people, so I called him aside. I said, I no more. is it true? He's like, no. He has heard something, but let's check. Mm. And I said, who else is here? He said, Elvis, a free anchor, the director of elections. Okay, let's go. So we climbed to the top. We went to meet Elvis. He was sitting down with his phones. Then, you know, it was I asked him, have you heard anything? Because there was someone, there was a visitor, yeah. and they didn't want this to yeah. go. So have you heard anything? The guy said, I know what you're talking about. I am still on the phone waiting for people to call me. So at the time, the information has still not spread. But further on, developments came, mm -hmm. didn't they, mm -hmm. at the headquarters? Yeah, it did. And um, um, we went there later uh, after you left there. And by the time we got there, a lot of supporters are thrown there. And uh, Michael Godu is on that beat. Michael. You are still watching the City Newsroom on City TV. My name is Michael Obudu. It's been a couple of hours since the announcement of the passing of the former president and uh, the founder of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, uh, the former president, Jerry John Rawlins. We are now at the premises of the NDC headquarters, and as you can see in your shot, there's a red band tied at the entrance as a symbol of the grief of the party over their loss. The mood over here is quite sober, and there are a lot of, not so many people, a number have come in and left, but um, the number hasn't really been uh, that huge as would have been anticipated but we gather that a number of the executives of the party are across the regions obviously busy campaigning ahead of the December 7 elections but we'll go inside there and interact with some people that have come around from sympathizers to uh, party faithfuls who have come to commensurate with their party over the loss of their founder we'll keep you informed about how things turn out do stay with us Tell me, sir, how did you receive the news of the passing of the former president? Um, it was very shocking, very damning. Um, I, I, I was very sad when I heard the news. But then um, up to now, we haven't, we haven't really heard from the family. So we are, we are trying to hold our peace and uh, make sure that we hear the right information from the right source before we, 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 we know what to do as a party, yes. How would you describe 
the former president and what is one of your fondest memories of him? Well, um, the, 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 the former president, uh, Rawlins, was, um, was a people's man. He, was, um, he, was, he, has, he has been one of the greatest men ever to serve Ghana. And I, I quite recall his um, boom statement, which was very uh, familiar with the media. I remember uh, Shama Rawlings, President Rawlings, his legacy, property, accountability, integrity, and transparency, and social justice. That's the core values of the party. We shall all remember Jerry Joe Rawlings. How are you feeling right now? I'm, I'm, so, I'm so confused about his death. So shock. Maybe I can't eat. He says he's our mentor. And tell me, what are some of us to do something against uh, the, our chance in this 2020, 2020 election? Uh, I think it is rather going to boost our chance. It's going to boost our chance, really. What's your fondest memory of the former president, and what kind of a person would you describe him to? Our founder is a fine father. Humorous, honesty. You know, the exception that the probity and accountability, he brought it. Obviously, his party members will be devastated, and it shows in the yeah, videos it does, there. It Rollins, Rollins was the pivot around which NDC evolved. Mm -hmm. In fact, Rollins was even the pivot around which Ghana evolved. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really a big deal. It's really a big deal. Well, we'll go to the Upper East region where um, Vice President Dr. Baumia has also suspended his campaign there, but he's also been speaking about um, ex President Rollins. A sad day for Africa and a sad day for the world. President Jerry John Rawlings was a colossus in the political history of Ghana. And we are so shocked, very shocked, to hear of his passing. And because of this, this uh, rally of uh, Deba that we have planned cannot take place. Please all understand that where we are in Ghana now, our state of mind, our collective state of mind, yeah, for seven days, for the next seven days, there will be no campaign activity. This is what the president has declared. So the state of Ghana now, uh, our collective mindset, we are united in our mourning for the loss of our former president, Jerry John Rawlings. And I know that the people of Olga East feel the same way. And so please pardon us. We are not going to uh, continue with this Deva as was originally planned. We thank you for coming. And I want to ask for your prayers for His Excellency, the former president, and his family. Let's pray uh, for his soul, and may God give him a peaceful resting place. It is very sad, but I thank you all for being here. God bless you. God bless our whole land, God. So the minority has also issued a statement on um, his passing. Uh, it says the minority in parliament is deeply saddened at the tragic news of the passing of former president and founder of the NDC, uh, His Excellency Jerry John Rawlins. It is most difficult to come to terms with the shocking development, considering that only a few weeks ago he looked well and hearty when we visited his home to commiserate with him on the loss of his dear mother. So what will take him um, the... Um, Minority leader, Rene Idrisu, he is currently on the line and will pick his thoughts on the person of ex-president Jerry John Rawlings. Honorable Haruna Idrisu, our condolences to you and your party. As a northern politician, remind us again how you got into contact with uh, the former president, your fondest memories. 
Ghana has lost a political icon, and I want to believe that a sudden demise creates a void, and it will be difficult, if not impossible, to fill that void. General have contributed immensely and enormously to the economic, political development of Ghana, particularly contemporary competitive democratic politics. Ghana owes its current multi-constitutional democratic practice, partly to General Rawlings and his sacrifices and his exercise of judgment. Honorable minority, minority leader, so I was, I was initially, I think you didn't hear me, I was asking, uh, you have said what he has done in his public life, and, but on the personal and, level, um, what do you remember most of Jerry Rollins? Jerry Rollins for our country, his inspiration inspired many of us, and his motivation for public service was public good. His death must awaken all of us not to seek public office for purpose of enriching yourself but to, to seek the public uh, good he fought corruption he fought nepotism he fought cronyism he fought graft like no other president have done yet we are not out of it yet there is still abuse of public uh, processes and uh, public uh, office and uh, state corruption and high risk activity, the, the country has lost an asset, the nation has lost an asset, and the NDC has lost its founder, and the public service has lost a dedicated by public uh, servant. My initial interaction with him started. When I was in Lagos, then as president of the National Union of Ghana Students, and he had to visit Lagos, and there was some blur as to how he could be received or he would be received by the student uh, population. But navigating Ghana through the typical waters of militarism to multi party constitutional democracy is his legacy and an enduring legacy. Ghana today is referred to as a beacon of hope, a beacon of democracy in a country which is an oasis of peace and stability. Thanks for his contribution to those efforts. It's important you made the point. Nation. It's important you made the point there that, of course, he's been fighting corruption, nepotism, and all of that. But we are not out of the woods yet. He was driving on the principles of probity, accountability, and social justice. Do you reckon we'll ever see these principles really and truly being enforced? Yes, and I believe that the Ghanaian public, what President Rawlings did was to set the minimum standards, probity, justice, and accountability. It does not mean that every other person will be open to those values of transparency. They are those below the line, fall below their minimum standards including persons who serve with him, but I may preciousness that today every Ghanaian is able to say we are demanding accountability, we are demanding poverty, we are demanding transparency. That becomes a value that guides us through our journey. It is not to say, and I've repeatedly said that human beings are not angels. So you don't expect human beings to behave as if uh, they were angels. And because you said probity and accountability, every person will behave as if uh, he didn't work with angels. Thank you for speaking to us. and um... My pleasure and condolences. I had to go out to the family, Mrs. Nana Kuneta Ajman Rollis, and to the immediate family. May he so rest in perfect peace. Indeed. Thank you so much, Haruna Idrisu, the Tamale South MP, who is also the minority leader. And he issued a statement on behalf of the minority. Uh, condolences from the minority side on the demise 
of the party's founder, that's the NDC founder, Jerry John Rollins. Okay. We go to a key region, the Volta region, which is his home region. We start with Tefle, where he has a house over there. Later, we go to the region proper and gauge the mood over there. News about the death of former president Jerry John Rawlings comes as a total shock and surprise to the people of Tefle, Vume, and its environ. Papa Jay, as most of the residents call him, has been a friend and a father to them than a former statesman. They say he is a man who loves everybody and wants to interact with even the least person on the street anytime he comes in contact with them. While some people believe the news and pray that his body rests in peace, others still pray that it is one of those dreams they would wake up to be told is not true. Currently, his residence here at Teflamoto Way is not yet opened to mourners and the general public, as securities here say they are yet to receive an official confirmation of his death from Accra. City News has been interacting with some residents around Tefle and Sogakope who have been sharing their fond memories of the former president and how they receive the news. <laughs> This is Rejoice Foy. Women organizer for the National Democratic Congress at the Sogakope Police Barrier. She says sometimes the former president disguises himself, especially in the evenings, and comes around to buy from them. <laughs> Papa <laughs> This is an elderly woman, Madame Agnes Ama Do. Madame Agnes Ama is a tilapia seller at the Sugakoka Police Barrier. In fact, I like his boldness. He had courage. He talked with power. And uh, I think we, 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 we miss a man. We miss a man. We miss a, a, a great personality in Ghana. Because 
anytime he turns, he turns with uh, power backed by uh, uh, authority. So we, we miss somebody. Uh, we, uh, a big thing has fallen for Ghana. We miss him so much. Some of us miss him because of even his uh, uh, advices, even the way he talks to people. You will love it. Whether uh, in terms of uh, uh, argument or whatever. This is the sad moment for the whole nation because this is the man who had led us to democracy. We were in a, a civilian house and through him we were able to get democracy. And he's the one that we can remember at this moment, the moment that we are passing through, where we are going to have election. And his party is in a position where he has a lot to do so that his party will come to power so that we can rescue this nation from the hard core of this uh, uh, Nana Ado and Baumia. In fact, it's a sad moment for this nation. What do you remember about Rollins? I can remember a lot of things about this man because he has done a lot, as I said earlier on. He has taken us through the civilian rules, from uh, uh, native rules to the civilian rules. It's one of the legacy that Ghana can remember him. Yes, in, 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 in the history of Ghana. And then his way of leadership. You see, we have a lot of past uh, president, but look at the way he contacted himself when he was in position, when he was in power. Everybody will remember this man in, in all aspects of this life. Uh, it was a shock. I was not expecting anything that way, but we know we know of him since from our infancy. Uh, he's a great man. He's done much for Ghana. So we feel bad about his death. So we wish the family and uh, the kids and the rest our condolences. Okay. Very sad indeed. Well, let's take you to the National House of Chiefs. Some of the chiefs have also been speaking about the death of the ex-president. I heard uh, it hasn't sunk in yet. I just have to go and talk to my people. It's a sad day for Ghana. We need all to mourn for him. <sighs> I wish I wouldn't comment on it because customary, I'm wondering whether it has gone through the process, but I might say I'm devastated throughout the proceedings. In fact, I was not even concentrating. I wish it's not true, but uh, you can see the news being filtering in. Uh, it, it's happened, and to be honest, I'm shocked. I'm shocked, and uh, that is all that I can say for now. Oh, very shocking. Very shocking. I'm sad. Popular in the northern part of the country, partly because, or mostly rather, due to the rural electrification project that he embarked on. We went to the northern region and picked the thoughts of Ghanaians there on the demise of Jeronis. He's our role model and uh, it's a loss to uh, the armed forces, the Ghana armed forces. It is a loss to all the military high command. And uh, we, 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 we actually feel uh, uh, very, very sad. We are very sad at this moment. I was shocked um, back at school when we were offering, um, when I was offering my course in a subject um, called government. I learned a little f um, about him from them, but I don't know much about him. So we've not only been in the Volta region, uh, the Shanti region, as well as the northern region, we've been in other regions to also see the reactions of the people They Remember, it has quite some hold on most regions, uh, despite him being the ex-president, on how they've been reacting to his death. I miss him a lot because he has done so much for the country in Africa as a whole. Because he helped us bring democracy and he helped to maintain it. And in the north here, he brought us road, water, university, a lot. Many of the major developmental projects have been brought to this area by the 
late uh, president. Indeed, it is sad for me to even mention the word late because we had electricity under his watch. We had UDS development for investing uh, studies, UDS here under his watch. This was the man that is always guided by his words. This was the man that is always believed in truth. And he always monitored the forward march of this country. His attitude towards development is one, and his principles that he obeys. What are these principles? The principles of togetherness, unity, and development. And most of all, what I miss from him is he doesn't look at his political color when he's talking about uh, his personal interests. And that is whether be it MPP, NDC, do is the fan of NDC, but sometimes when he goes to his rallies and other things, he tells them what they should actually do on the ground. We will forever meet Kerry and then uh, the way he talks and then he's a firebrand politician. He says it as he thinks it is or as, as he sees it and then, um, well, he's just one of the few guys. I quite remember recently uh, there was a video circulating on social media where he was directing traffic and other stuff. That is normal. It's part of human's life. Mm. It's inevitable. Mm. It's bound to happen So. It's already happened. We can't do anything about it. Jerry was a straightforward man. He, he always speaks his mind. And th that was what I liked about him. He didn't hide anything. I believe he did great things for this country. For we to lose him at this time, and this year being elections year, we expect him, we expect to hear his voice and his impact during this election to bring peace. And we losing a great man like him is very bad for us. And I heard the story. I was um, very, very sad, and I was sympathize the wife and the children that they should, they should console their, themselves. I was so young at that time, barely 10 years old in 1979, and I can say that I learned a lot of things from his way of doing things, his passion for Ghana, and his commitment in seeing to it that what needs to be done to benefit the ordinary man on the streets was done. He was a very serious and uh, energetic person and someone who always make a move to everything that he, he, he wants to do. So in fact, I love him, not, not, just, I, not just like, I just love him because he's very straightforward. You're still watching City Newsroom on City TV. When we come back, we'll take you to social media, and social media has been mourning the former president. We'll bring you that and others. Stay with us. In Ghana, the law enjoins all drivers and passengers in a moving vehicle to wear a seatbelt. No excuse is good enough for not wearing a seatbelt. Seatbelts that are fitted in vehicles are adjustable, so please adjust it to suit you. Let it rest as close as possible to the body. As a driver, before you drive off, ensure everyone else, especially children in the vehicle, have fastened their seatbelts. The airbag is not an alternative to a seatbelt because in the event of a crash, only the fastened seatbelt will stop a passenger from being thrown far forward. So buckle up. Stop road crashes now. Stay alive. This road safety education is brought to you by the National Road Safety Authority. Looking for something new this November? Looking for star-studded suspense. 
is what rich, entitled people do when threatened. They conceal the ugly truths to protect themselves. Maybe you're in search of true love. Roses are red, violets are blue. I got a crush on you, baby, would you be my food? What about a bit of family drama? Need something to keep the kids entertained? We're ready to help with the case, Mira. We'll look for clues. Perhaps criminally good comedy is your thing. Whatever you're in the mood for, look no further than DSTV. Hi, my name is Salamatu. Yes, these are both me. You see, before Free SHS, my life could have taken two very different paths. The SHS path depended on how much money my parents had, what sacrifices they were willing to make, and whether they would send me or my little brother Isa to SHS. The other part is what would have become of me if there was no free SHS. But today, thanks to free SHS, my future is bright and promising. Congratulations, you have a name. It's a boy. Instead of depending on others, I will stand on my own feet and help my family. Free SHS is where my dreams for a better future and the dreams of thousands of young girls become a reality. Don't let NBC take it away from us. Vote for NPP and give all Ghanaian girls a chance for a better future. Thank you, sir. Hello, my name is Samuel Fori, a film actor and a film director. Because of the nature of my job, the taste for quality things is endless. Quality phones, quality laptops, quality TV sets. Let me show you my secret. Here is Franco Trading Enterprise. My secret for quality laptops, quality phones, quality TV sets. Accessories, come on. Standard hard drive, pen drive, name it. For book purchase, and retails come to Franco Trading Enterprise. They will reduce the price for you. Franco Trading Enterprise. Home quality. So Ghana is mourning the death of its ex-president Jerry John Rawlings who died this morning at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. We are told he died at 10 past 10 this morning there. It's still not clear what really led to his demise. Over uh, the days we'll be bringing you up to speed on that. But social media has been, you know, reacting to his death. Uh, we had prominent persons reacting as well as the normal or not the common Ghanaian also reacting to his death. We'll go to social media and see some of the reactions so far. On Thursday, social media was buzzing with loads of messages of condolence to Ghanaians and the family of the late former president. The death of former president Jerry John Rawlins sent shock waves across Ghana as many took to social media to mourn and eulogize the first president of Ghana's Fourth Republic. In a statement signed by the sitting president, Nana Adudankwe Kufadu, the government of Ghana declared seven days of national mourning and added that all flags across the country were also to be flown at half-mast. The vice president of Ghana, Dr. Mahamadou Baumia, said Ghana had lost a colossus, while John Ejekum Kufo, Ghana's third president of the Fourth Republic, mourned his late colleague in a Twitter post and prayed for a peaceful rest for the soul of the former president Rollins. 
The presidential candidate of the National Democratic Congress, John Dramani Mahama, suspended his six-day campaign tour of the Ashanti region to mourn former President Rawlings. As Rawlings' legacy extended well beyond the shores of Ghana, the news of his death was received with equal astonishment across the African continent and globally. Presidents of various African countries paid their tribute to the former President Rawlings. The government of the Republic of Liberia expressed its condolence to the people of Ghana and its president, George Weah, said the continent would miss a great leader. Liberia's former president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, also said the country was indebted to him for his peacemaking efforts during the country's civil war. Ghana's northern neighbor, Burkina Faso, also expressed its sadness through a message from their president, Rockman Christian Kabori, who described Rawlings' demise as a big loss to Africa. President of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, described him as a true Pan-Africanist. Meanwhile, other international officials also sent in their well wishes to the bereaved family. Well, if you're young like me and you probably don't have the full history of Jerry John Rawlings, uh, like Vivian lived it, uh, you'd want to watch the next <laughs> story, which is a biography of Jerry John Rawlings put together by Duke Mensah Poku for City News. On June 4, 1979, a young Air Force officer captured the attention of a nation on the edge with a coup d'etat that would later be known in Ghana's political history as the June 4th Revolution. Early on May 15th that year, he led some young military officers in a mutiny that led to his temporary incarceration. A month after taking office in 1979, Rawlings laid bare the ideals underpinning the coup that made him leader of the country days to his second birthday. After seven years in office, the army was going back to barracks without any steps having been taken to punish those who had tarnished the name of the armed forces. This situation posed a threat to the continued existence of the armed forces and the stability of the country, hence the spontaneous action of June 4th to preempt a coup immediately after handover to a civilian administration. We have all heard from every political party say how corrupt the country has become. But from past experience, we know that none of them would do a thorough job of eradicating corruption once they came into office. The son of a Scottish chemist, James Ramsey John, and a Ghanaian mother, Victoria Agbotui, Jerry John Rawlins was born on 22nd June 1947. Rawlins attended Ashimota School before entering the Ghana Air Force. He graduated in 1969 with honors, winning the Speed Bird Trophy for his cohort of recruits for the military academy. The Speed Bird Trophy went to Lieutenant J.J. Rawlings for being the best Air Force cadet of the Flying Training School. A decade later, as a senior officer in the Air Force, he overthrew the Supreme Military Council II administration under the leadership of General F.W.K. Akufu before handing over power to Dr. Hila Liman to usher in the third Republican dispensation. During our short stay in power, I've demonstrated openly what many people had only suspected before, namely that the holding of office in government in this country had in almost all cases been used to plunder the wealth of the nation. Ghana is looking up to you. A few months after that, on 31st December 1981, he led a second coup and was the head of a military junta, the Provisional National Defense Council, PNDC, until the introduction of multi-party elections in 1992 when he was first elected president. He handed over power after the party he founded. The NDC lost the crucial 2000 election to the then opposition MPP led by John Ajikum Kufo. Jerry John Rawlings is credited with overseeing the processes that ensured the smooth transition of power after serving two terms in office under the 1992 constitution. Rural electrification, the expansion of the country's road network and the creation of the Upper West region, mobilization and deepening participatory democracy are feats that many attribute to the close to two decades of governance under Jerry John Rawlings. In this interview in the 1990s with Diane Sawyer of French television station TV Cinq Monde, Rawlings threw light on the kind of society he wanted to build. We can vote people in and out, personalities, okay? 
But my dear, what we need to do in this country is to establish a situation where even if it was the devil who should come and sit on top of us in Ghana, by virtue of certain procedures, certain practices, the devil cannot get away with doing whatever he wants. He would necessarily have to do what the people expect of him. The building blocks of the Fourth Republic were laid in 1993 under his leadership. Power in Ghana now regularly alternates between the two major political parties. In latter years, Rawlins campaigned for African nations to have their international debts written off. In 2010, he was named as the African Union envoy to war-torn Somalia. But his legacy is controversial, and he divided opinion domestically and in the wider world. His detractors accused him of torture, corruption, and worse. To his supporters, he brought order, security, and prosperity to Ghana. He survived by former First Lady Nanakuni Dwajiman Rollins and four children, Zaneto, Amina, Kimafi, and Yaa Santua. Hmm. Vivian, Jerry Rollins is gone. An Unbelievable. I mean, Rollins is, I mean, he's just a big man. Like, I mean, I mean, like you were saying, I didn't live it though, but... Um, you live part of it. Part of it, because I think... Two thirds of it. At, in primary school and you know his, I got his attention because then there were so many things happening he was in power and all that and our parents used to talk about him I remember the curfew time the things that were said and then every day for news he was always on the news I mean if he was in the trenches or somewhere he was giving a speech and then the wife as well in a red beret and you know we, we grew up just knowing him before mm. later you know the 1992 constitution and everything changed and all that but I mean you can't just get over it. I remember this morning we were together and we we're trying to, you know, confirm yeah, yeah, the news yeah. and all that. And you were you were shaking actually. I was watching you um, and you were just shaking. Um I was not sure if I was shaking. <laughs> I were. don't remember I don't remember <laughs> things that happened before midday when it's night time. But yeah, what I remember mm. in ninety six, I mean I remember their vehicle will come around and they'll throw these leaflets of Rollins. And there was this photo of him wearing a uniform with his hand with his yeah, fist up in yeah. the and we'll take it home and go and use two you know, as glue to stick it on our <laughs> windows and our doors, everybody in the village. Yeah. And also because of the 64 military camp, which was nearby, that we knew that he would always come, soldiers were always moving. Then everybody said he was a white man, so we all mm -hmm, called him mm -hmm. Yevu or, yeah, you know, yeah. Tumbako. So any time a helicopter was passing, we could swear that it was generally it was sitting in there. And then there was this myth that he flew under the Adonis the bridge, bridge and all that, and that all bridge those was stories. not far from us so Charlie for us yeah Charlie that and then he origin. flew his nails were taken off and he flew with and that also everybody had different stories different about Jerome and when I started growing so I was in secondary school this is my friend who has NDC in his blood then I come here apart from his in Tama East he carried me and we sneaked to Ashaim and Kake to to go and watch Jerry Rollins at June 4 and when he finished, we followed the convoy shouting, J.J., J., mm -hmm. Junior Jesus, from Ashaim and Kaketu. All the way. All the way to Temamoto with Tobu. Oh, no. Today, I sit back and I'm like, <laughs> Why did you do and that? this was me jumping wall <laughs> from secondary school or something. I don't know that I jumped wall, maybe something. Oh, it was you've, you've already confessed. It was 2004. I don't remember <laughs> the circumstance under which we, but we went. Maybe then they will remind us. And so, after, and then when I met him the first time in 2012, mm -hmm. I was interviewing him. Then I was looking at them and I'm like, he thinks so I'm interviewing him as a general, yeah. but I'm looking at him like, wow, wow this is this really man. And know. he's physically huge. And yeah. I mean, he, he was, he is and was an icon. And um, this is sad. It's sad. Uh, I, we can only say that he should rest in yes, peace. Yes, and yes. Um, yeah. May his soul rest in peace. That's it today on the City Newsroom. Log on to our website. We have many stories on the ex president's demise. Subscribe to City Tube on YouTube for more exclusive video content from City TV. Load the City, download the City News app and get more stories on the go. City TV is live on DSTV channel 18, channel 363. I beg your pardon, and Go TV channel 182. My name is Vivian Kai Loko. My name is Umaru Sandamado. Thank you for watching.